Have you ever been reviewing code only to spend half your time nitpicking over every indent, trailing comma, parenthesis, quote, line break? Well, I have, and I've also been on the receiving end of that, even when I think my code style was absolutely fine and perfectly readable. The problem is, every engineer has different opinions on how code should be formatted, and it can be one of the biggest slowdowns when going through the code review process. What if you could get rid of that argument, once and for all? Well, you can, and in the next few minutes, I'm going to convince you that using an auto formatter will not only be good for your team's velocity, but will also make you a better programmer. I hope you're strapped in, because this is about to get very, very very uncomfortable. I want you to do me a favor. I'm going to read out the sequence and all I want you to do is remember the numbers without pausing the video. Are you ready? 1. Green. 0. Purple. 5. Red. 8. Blue. 0. Orange. 7. Chicken. 7. Black. 4. Yellow. 2. Brown. 5. Pink. If you're like me, or indeed like most of the population, you will have only been able to remember about seven of the numbers at most, and you were probably distracted when I said a word that wasn't a colour. If the average human can only hold up to seven pieces of information in their brain, asking your grey matter to remember what file you're in, what this function is supposed to do, how you're trying to implement it, and your company's entire style guide just seems unfair. The fewer processes you have running on your CPU, the more clock cycles each will get. The same is true for your mind. By removing the need to think about what you're your code looks like, you can spend more time thinking about what your code does, and the more likely you will be to spot mistakes or inefficiencies in your code, leading to more robust, reliable software. And it's not just you who can benefit from having an auto formatter installed. If you set it up for your entire team in a way that doesn't interrupt their workflow, it can improve your team's velocity by orders of magnitude. Why? Because not only does nobody have to spend hours fixing code style nitpicks at review time, but every engineer in your team gets used to reading code that's all formatted in the same same way. Practice makes perfect, so the more time you spend reading code in a certain style, the quicker you'll be able to read it, the faster you'll understand your colleagues work, and the sooner you'll be able to get stuck in on that new project. It's a win-win situation. Do you know what else is a win-win? You liking this video and subscribing to my channel. The main drawback of many auto formatters is the configuration. It can take hours to dial it in just how your team wants it, and even then there might be disagreements. That's why I recommend using only highly opinionated auto formatters that give you little to no control over how your code is formatted. My favourites tend to be the ones that allow you to change the line length and nothing else. Trust me, even if you don't like the code style, you'll get used to it very quickly and you'll learn to love the tool. On screen is a list of my recommended auto formatters for different languages. I like to use a line length of 88, but agree on something in your team and let the tool take care of the rest. I've also included some extensions or secondary tools I'd recommend running before some of the formatters, as not all tools are perfect and some just need a little helping along. If you're not convinced at this point that auto formatters are God's gift to programmers, then I don't know what to tell you. I can only hope that you go away from this video with prettier on the brain and go thumped in your heart, because I've done all all I can. If you like programming philosophy discussions like this one, you'd really enjoy my recent video on typed versus untyped Python, which you can see by clicking here.